In this video for Dementia Training Australia, I'll discuss what I hope to achieve regarding access to and design of buildings. But we must firstly recognise dementia as a condition causing cognitive and other disabilities, and then we must manage it as one. And importantly, if that includes designing buildings that support disabilities. We need architects and designers and all others to understand that dementia enabling design and support is not only justified in the same way that wheelchair accessibility is already provided, it's a human and legal right. It's not just about building design, as until we move from the medical model of care to one that is based on a social and disability model or pathway of support and care, nothing will change. Post-diagnostic support must be more than just an assessment of activities of daily living or being advised to get our end of life affairs in order or get acquainted with aged care. So as well as being weak on human rights, the medical model of care is simply too expensive. Forget the human costs, governments cannot afford this model with its promotion of dependence and learned helplessness. A key issue in changing this is recognising the symptoms of dementia as disabilities, which also therefore means people with dementia must be afforded the same disability support as any other person with acquired disabilities. The WHO clearly states that dementia is one of the major causes of disability and dependency among older people worldwide, yet it is still not being supported that way. When attending the WHO Mental Health Gap Forum in Geneva in 2016, I asked that there be an additional category under the umbrella of mental health, which is where dementia sits at the WHO. Dementia is not a mental health condition, nor is it is an intellectual or a psychosocial disability. The symptoms caused by dementia are cognitive disabilities and the WHO has since adopted a fourth subcategory for dementia, which means we come under cognitive disabilities. And now that dementia is also being described at the UN documents as a cognitive disability, we ask that everyone is reminded including health ministers worldwide, including designers and architects, that people with dementia are recognised under the UN as rights bearers under the CRPD treaty. Hence, it will become clear that all buildings, all communities must provide the same disability support for people with dementia, including in their design, not only for people with mobility, hearing or sight disabilities, it is time to recognise the invisible disability so many people with dementia acquire and live with and provide support for them to function in their communities on an equal basis as everybody else.